What does a snake, a stag, two crabs, and a swallow have in common? <laughs> Find out in today's stories. Well, hi there, Reader Adventure, and welcome to Storytime for Kids. I'm Mrs. McCurley, and today we're going to hear more from that ancient slave, Aesop, who wrote lots of stories with wonderful life lessons. We'll hear about the countryman and the snake, the two crabs, the stag at the pool, and the spendthrift and the swallow. Let's get started. The countryman and the snake. A countryman, one frosty day in the depths of winter, found a snake under a hedge, almost dead and frozen cold. Taking pity on the poor creature, he brought him home and laid him across the hearth of the fire. Revived by the heat, it reared up and with dreadful hissings, flew at the wife and the children of his benefactor. The countryman, hearing their cries, rushed in and seizing a mattock, soon cut the snake into pieces. <gasps> Vile wretch, said he, is this the reward you make to he who saved your life? Die as you deserve, but a single death is not good enough for you. The lesson in gratitude is a crime. The two crabs. My dear, called out an old crab to her daughter one day. Why do you sidle along in that awkward manner? Why don't you go forward like other people? <laughs> well, mother, answered the young crab, it seems to me that I go exactly like you do. Go first and show me how, and I will gladly follow. <laughs> Lesson. Example is better than precept. The stag at the pool. A stag, drinking at a clear pool, admired the handsome look of his spreading antlers, but was much displeased by the slim and ungainly appearance of his legs. What a glorious pair of branching horns, said he. How gracefully they hang over my forehead. What a fine air they give my face. But as for my spindle shanks of legs, I am heartily ashamed of them. The words were scarcely out of his mouth when he saw some huntsmen and a pack of hounds making towards him. His despised legs soon placed him at a distance from his followers, but, on entering the forest, his horns got entangled at every turn so that the dog soon reached him and made an end to him. Fool that I was, he gasped at his last breath. Had it not been for these wretched horns, my legs would have saved my life. Lesson. Beauty may have fair leaves and bitter fruit. the spendthrift, and the swallow. A prodigal young fellow who had run through all of his money and even sold his outer clothes, except his cloak, saw a swallow skimming over the meadow one fine day in early spring. Believing that summer had really come, he sold his cloak too. The next morning, there happened to be a severe frost and shivering and nearly frozen himself, he found the swallow laying stiff and dead upon the ground. He thereupon abraded the poor creature as the cause of all of his misfortunes. Stupid thing, said he, had you not come before your time, I should not now be so wretched. <gasps> the lesson, be not ready to believe rumors. Wow, so many helpful lessons from our animal friends and their stories. Which one did you like best? For more Aesop's Fables, check out these other videos. And thanks for being a reader adventurer. <laughs> and
until our next video. Happy story time. Bye.